Hello, hi, and I know you missed me, but I did not forget about you guys. I did not. We're back with my 31 horror movies slash Halloween movies in 31 days. And no, I'm not going to be able to complete my uh, challenge, but I'm going to just continue to do it until the 31st. Because what else am I doing today? Maybe all day Halloween, I'll just be watching a movie, uploading, and going back again. We've got... It's crunch time. All right. I've been gone for a little bit because I went on vacay. Vacay. Went to a beautiful wedding in Florida. Um, and you're like, well, that means like you weren't, be able, you weren't able to watch anything. That's where you're wrong. I was able to watch something. Um, because, of course, flying from California to Florida takes quite some time. So I got some good movies in. <clears throat> So with that, let me talk, you're also going to see some rapid fire today. Probably four videos just today. So I hope you're ready for it. Okay, so I'm on the plane, not sure what to watch, and I stumble upon the fact that uh, they have DirecTV or whatever up there now, and the TCM channel's on there, the Classic Movie Channel. Turner Classic, I think it's Turner Classic Movie, sorry, Turner Classic Movie Channel. And the movie was just beginning, and it was called Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed. And I was like, all right, you know what? You got me. You got me. This is what I want to watch. So here for you today, we're taking it back. Taking it back to 1969. Noise. Uh, sorry. Um, Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed was created and... Created. It was released in 1969, directed by Terrence Fisher, and starring the one and only Peter Cushing. If you, and if you don't know, Peter Cushing, I believe, let me double check here, is known for playing Frankenstein in many things. And he was also Grand Moss, sorry, Grand Moth Tarkin from Star Wars Episode 4. A New Hope. So, here we go. Frankenstein must be destroyed. Now, if you're wondering, okay, when we say Frankenstein, who are we talking about here? Are we talking about Baron von Frankenstein, the doctor? Or are we talking about the monster that he made? Well, this movie is based on just the doctor. The doctor himself. So, according to IMDb, here's your synopsis. Baron Frankenstein, with the aid of a young doctor and his fiance, uh, <laughs> sorry, let me, that was ridiculous. Baron Frankenstein, with the, with the aid of a young doctor and his fiance, kidnaps a mentally sick Dr. Brandt in order to perform the first brain transplant operation. Okay. So what you need to know is Frankenstein, obviously, is a doctor of oh he's a brain doctor but on but he also deals with like nerves and i don't know what the technical term was with that but um and we all know the story is that um the original story is that this doctor would dig up graves try to put the try and try to reanimate life well this is a different he's doing something different okay at this point in this saga of Frankenstein, he is working with this this Dr. Brent that was mentioned in the synopsis of, on doing brain transplants. And the one thing that Frankenstein couldn't figure out is to how to keep the brain good while not in the head. You know, like, what do you do? Where Can you store brains? And apparently, Dr. Brandt had the answer. He had figured it out. But on the way, but a couple of days before he was supposed to tell Frankenstein, he just went mentally ill randomly. Just, nah, I don't want to do it anymore. So, Frankenstein for sure, villain here, okay? First of all, he blackmails this young doctor because, of course, young doctor has to pay for his fiance's mom's hospital bills or whatever so he's got a side business of selling cocaine <laughs> like everyone does we have bills 
to pay, y'all, okay? So he blackmails them by basically saying, hey, I know what you're doing. Um, I won't rat you out as long as you help me. And you're like, okay. And of course his fiance is kind of like collateral at this point because she knows that that's what her fiance is doing. So she has to just be there to play what I call like the maid. She pretty much feeds and feeds and waters is how I'm going to put it. Frankenstein or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and of course, has a good movie, obviously. He's been had. Doesn't end well for him. When he says he must be destroyed, does he in fact get destroyed? You're going to have to find that one out on your own. It's early in the morning. I got coffee today. So... Because it's 1969, sometimes these movies aren't necessarily scary. More horrifying of what you're watching. There is, um, full disclaimer, there is a bit of a, um, a sexual assault scene. Um, which is very uncomfortable to watch on a plane. Although, it's 1969, so it's nothing like what they would do today. Like, with girl, with the movie, like, Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, or... Last House on the Left, like, nothing as graphic at that, but you knew, you knew when that scene was starting what was going to transpire, and you're like, hmm, I don't like this. I do not like. So, that was horrifying to watch. Um, and so, like, so basically, um, sorry, basically this whole thing is about, like, Frankenstein's trying to do this under the radar because he's been kind of ran out of the country because people see him messing with brains and stuff be, to be unethical. Which is a different question for a different time. I don't know. Um, so everyone, he got right out of the country because what he was doing with brains is unethical. Basically like, hey, this person's dying. Let's just transplant his brain to somebody else so he can keep living. The whole idea of like doctors playing God is kind of an issue that probably still runs in today's circles, so maybe still relevant today. Although I don't know if we do, I don't know if we do tra brain transplants. I don't think that's something we do today, so it might still be unethical. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so anyways, he does this to perform the first... In order to, that's what the synopsis is, in order to perform the first brain transplant operation, which he does successfully, because he basically, he ta he kidnaps his mentally sick partner, Dr. Brandt, is like, hey, I'm going to switch your brain with this other guy's, with another doctor's brain, and then I'm going to fix your illness, so then you can tell me the secret, so then... We can get back to our work. And of course, like, once he fixes Dr. Brandt's brain or whatever, Dr. Brandt's like, I didn't want to tell you. I, like, I I don't want to continue this work. So, of course, bah, 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 he gets destroyed. <laughs> but how he does, you'll never know until you watch the movie. So, go watch the movie. It was... So, like, most, like what I would call classical type of horror movies like this one and some of like, this is kind of in the same era as my other horror movie icon that I love, which is Vincent Price. And like, it tends to be kind of slow and you're trudging along and you're kind of like, these people are going to be had at any time. Um, so like, you kind of do have to do, uh, handle that in general. Um, but like overall, decent movie. I like the take. I like the new take on Frankenstein. Maybe we're not digging up graves, but we're still doing things that are unethical, which is still a terrifying thing for a doctor. No, we find it terrifying today, don't we? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, so yeah, I would say go watch this movie again if you have the Turner Classic Movie app on your TV or your phone or whatever. I'm pretty sure you can stream this on there. So go for it. It's a nice movie just to have like on, I almost said on the background, but that's not what I mean. Like, just like, it's just a nice casual movie to watch. You're not 
you know, going in, you're not going to be scared. There's, you're going to be a little horrified of some of the things Frankenstein is willing to do to continue his work, which is problematic, probably. Um, but yeah, I would say, I would say watch this movie. Um, solid, I keep giving three stars out. Um, but because not necessarily, this movie's not necessarily meant to be scary, but more horrifying. And, you know, there's, there's a difference there. And if you want, I'll get into that difference maybe in the next video. But there's a difference between being horrified and being scared. And this movie's just a little bit horrifying of, like, the things that the doctor's willing to do to get his work done. So I'm going to give this movie four stars. Um, because, again, you get, I always knock down a star if I'm not, like, super scared or if I'm not... If it doesn't sit there and resonate with me for like a couple hours or sometimes days, it's, you know, it's fine. But it, giving it a four because I do have a slight bias on the fact that I like older movies. Uh, obviously, it's a slow burn. Um, yeah, so four stars. Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed, starring Peter Cushing. You can find it on the Turner Classic Movie Channel. Um, and this has been my movie review for today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any other movie reviews, and don't forget to like the video or else no one else is going to be able to find me, which maybe is a good thing. I haven't decided yet. Uh, anyways, I'll be back with another movie review probably soon.